With wireless technology growing in our industry, many people don't realize it's really easy to use wireless technology on an Android phone or an iOS phone. Well, today we're going to put our wireless technology to the test and add music on an Android phone without using any cords or computer connectivity. So stay tuned. <laughs> What's up guys, Jeremy Myrtle here with Myrtle Entertainment and as I said before, we're going to be using the power of wireless technology to put music on an Android phone. Now it does seem kind of obvious that you have to have a cord or something, but no, that's why it's called wireless technology. There are no wires or any cords that have to deal with anything. <clears throat> so uh, what we're going to do, uh, we're, we're actually we're just going ahead, we're going to go ahead and just dive right into things. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is a program called Fontunes. This is really useful uh, to manage uh, all of your music in just a small program such as um, Fontunes. So um, what you're going to do is if you let's just, let's say that you have an old device that has all of your music that you want on it, and what you can do is transfer all of that music uh, to your PC. And that's actually what I have done already. Uh, if you guys will look, actually, excuse me, if you guys can look and see, um, I'm in my documents. Notice there's a folder called Kiwi Music, and this has all of my music in it. Now, the files, the file name is, the file names are crazy, but with the help of Fontunes, they actually have titles and the artist and all the albums and whatnot. Uh, since Windows since Windows recognizes this is um, that sort of program. So what you can do is you can actually transfer this folder to your phone and I'm gonna show you how. So take your Android phone. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize both of these. I'll come back to the Explorer in a second. But what you're going to do, I wish I could move this, but for some reason my computer's not letting me. So you're going to have to um, scramble to the right. Or There we go. For some reason, I, I don't know why my computer is doing that. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, so um, what you're going to want to do, I, 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 look at that. I'll actually go full screen, make it look better. So what you're going to want to do is this, first of all, obviously this is my Android phone. So you're going to go into Play Store, and you're going to look for this piece of software. So uh, actually what we're going to do is I'm going to reopen the Play Store. I'm going to walk you guys through this whole process. But that was, that was the program that you wanted. So you're going to go up to the search bar, and you're going to search Wi-Fi File Transfer and press More. Now... Uh, you're going to scroll down a bit until you see this one, the Wi-Fi file transfer from Android DER. So you're going to open that up, and this app is free, so you're going to press install. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Um, but before I do open that, I'm going to show you guys how good this app really is. So how this works is... And these are, these are the screenshots within Play Store. So how this app works is you're given the network name that, you, that your phone is connected to. For example, this one is connected to tp-link underscore fck. And uh, it's also giving you how good of a signal it is based on this little uh, Wi-Fi pictograph. So um, how good your signal is depends on how well this works. And then, you just, then you just, uh, all you're going to do is just uh, press start service to work. And just, all you're going to do is push this button down here at the bottom. When you do that, you're going to be given this uh, little FTP address. Um, it looks a lot like an IP address, but this is strictly made for Windows Explorer. And you can actually, if you don't have a Windows, this also works well for Mac users. Uh, all you have to do is install an FTP client. And that should work as well. So when you part, when you push start, uh, start service, you're given this little address. 
Now, if I go into horizontal mode, it will look a lot better on this next picture. Uh, this is your phone in Windows. So, uh, after you've put in that little FTP address, you are literally given your folder, your Android folder structure in your phone, and this is how you can add all of your music. And that's pr those are pretty much the screenshots on the phone itself. So what you're going to do is, like I said, open the Play Store, install that app, and you're going to open it. In my case, it is in my Security and Utilities folder, and we're going to go ahead and open that up. I'm going to go ahead and get out of full screen. And I'm just going to pull it down a little bit, and hopefully, yes, it does. Okay, so now, as you guys have already seen, I have my Wi-Fi file transfer um, screen on the right and this this is my folder over here on the left now obviously I'm not, I'm not going to transfer anything to my folder just yet because there's really nothing that there is I want actually there is so um, if you guys can give me one quick second um, my tablet is at 8% but I'm going to download this same app from, I'm not I'm not transferring it from my phone. I'm going to download the same app as as I used uh, a minute ago. So if you will give me one quick second. It will take a minute. Press more. Install and accept. And this really is a quick. This is a this is a really quick download, especially if you're on a five gigahertz network. So I'm going to go ahead and press open here and I'm going to say start service and here we go. So my tablet as of right now is on this same software. So I'm going to show you my tablet structure. Uh, this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S. This is That's the tablet that I currently own. And all you do is type in FTP colon forward slash forward slash and then enter that exact same address along with the colon that is there and then it actually navigates you into the internet so this is my tablet structure as of right now um, <clears throat> if you go into music there's really nothing there except for like a couple of things so uh, there's actually this one called over the horizon that I'm going to um, copy out and I'm gonna put it on uh, I'll actually go ahead and just uh, put it on my desktop just for now if I can let me see right click and paste there we go okay so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the service now and notice this is the over the horizon from the Samsung Galaxy tab I'm just gonna rename it here and there you have it. So now that little um, thing is on my desktop. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go back in my phone over here. And I'm just going to push start service. Now here you can also use Fontunes and add the local music in. So in this case, I'm going to go to my... Actually, what I'm going to do before I do any of that... Instead of putting that on my desktop, I'm going to put it in my music or my local music folder because that's where I keep all my music and stuff. So if you will give me another quick minute. Uh, I'm sorry this is taking a little longer than I thought it would. Um, but yeah, it, it is it is recommended to keep all of your music in the same in the same spot. So uh, there's that. And then now this is where Fontunes comes in. All you do is click on Add Music at the top. And you search for the song that you want. So in my case, it, it is Over the Horizon. And it says one file will be transferred from music to local music. Now, local music is not your music folder. Local music is literally the, um, it's, it's the folder that saves all of the 
Fontoon's music. It's called Kiwi Music, and as you guys uh, saw here earlier, it was literally right there. And I had actually put that there. I put this file there earlier. And there's that. So, uh, the file, I'm not sure if it transferred yet. And let's see. It hasn't. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and let that sit for just a couple minutes, and I'll be right back when it finishes. All right, so now that, that now that it is finally done, uh, I have it now in my Kiwi music folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press OK, and I'm and this whole list here we will refresh. And bef uh, I'm I'm just going to minimize the program because I'm we don't need it at, uh, anymore at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reopen File Explorer. And I'm going to navigate back to my documents and Kiwi Music. Now, in your case, you can actually copy the whole folder and put it in there. But what I'm going to do is copy the whole... Uh, I'm just going to copy this one file. So I'm going to press Control-C. And then I'm going to um, go up here into my little thing, or the address bar. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I'm going to type in this little server. So it's FTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.14 along with the colon that follows, and then press enter. So now, like I said before, it does indeed take you to the internet in your it, and it takes you to your folder structure within your phone. So uh, my mind is actually called Fontunes Music instead of just music, and this this works much better for me. But uh, I'm pretty sure the Kiwi Music will work as well. So now all you have to do is push Control V to paste the file. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, anyway. All you're going to do is paste the file, and we're going to say uh, it already contains, we're going to say yes, and then we're going to refresh, and there it is. Well, there it was. So, uh, if, we, if we go in here and actually search for it, uh, we can see it is right there. So, all that's left to do now is to stop the service. And notice if you press refresh, it will not work because, like I said, it it takes you into the internet through an FTP server, and that's really all this is. So now it's telling me that Windows can't access it because I have not started my service. So that's why a connection could not be established because you prevented it from your phone. So we're going to close that out. And now we're going to bring my phone back into place. So if I go back into home and pull this missed call back, and if we go back into my phone and press music, you guys will see that if I go into O and scroll down a bit, you guys can see that over the horizon is actually in there twice. Uh, one of them is the Samsung Galaxy S6 version, and the other is the tab, uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab S version. So if we press it, and as you guys see, I now have that song on my phone. And I'm sorry for the weird rotating uh, screen thing. I'll go ahead and turn that off. But as you guys saw, uh, we got, we have already accomplished our goal. Uh, I have already added that song, and you can actually, I've actually added all of these songs. New text message received. And I've, I've also got sound enabled on my phone too, so uh, that's another really cool thing. 
uh, I'll, I'll show you guys how to do a whole bunch of things with the Galaxy, with the Galaxy S6 and just various other things. But this is a really cool feature to have. Uh, thumbs up if you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys would like to see more. Look at me songs on this thing. 706. Isn't that weird? Uh, this phone actually is the 32 gigabyte version. So, uh, you actually don't use data while doing this. So, that's, that's pretty good too. So, uh... Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys liked it. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.